Today we're going to talk about Sugar CRM and a concept we call no-touch software. A lot of people ask us what that means. Today we're going to explain what it means as it relates to marketing automation. A lot of times in sales, you hear people say, a sales rep's favorite radio station is WIIFM, as in what's important for me or what's in it for me. Well, what's important for a sales rep as it relates to CRM is they want the ability to read, react, and respond. They want to be able to consume information in the system and not always be bound to input of data. All of this cycles back to the concept called the 3x factor. And what's meant by that is for every piece of information I put into CRM, it has to benefit me at least times three. So what I always call the easy three is I put information in there so I can retrieve it. I put information in there, two, so other people can retrieve it. And three, I put information in the system, and that supports organizational reporting. But beyond the, the easy three, what else happens? Well, I put information in CRM, and marketing can leverage that information and do marketing on my behalf. And X5 is I get to see the results of what's happened with marketing. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So let's have a look at how that works within Sugar CRM. First of all, how do we even get a lead? One of the other concepts behind no touch in CRM is making the system do things for us. So in this example, we're looking at a workflow automation, which is a new lead being assigned. And Sugar has been taught how to inspect that new lead, assess what territory or region it belongs to, and based on that territory and region, if it's in the United States, which area within that region, and based on that, who gets assigned that lead. Once the assignment takes place automatically, the system sends an email notification to that sales user and lets them know that there's a new lead available for them, and the system takes the liberty of actually scheduling a task or phone call for the sales rep so they know to take advantage of this new opportunity. What happens next after that? Well, usually what happens is the sales rep wants to, again, read, react, and respond. So how can they, through the no-touch paradigm, use data that's living in the system? Well, obviously, by filling in the form, the contact me form created by marketing, that person already has information in the system. They've been added to the system by the marketing automation platform tool. And by clicking on the sugar marketing frame, we can actually have a look at the information about where has this person been so far? What have they done? And what has marketing done on my behalf? So by looking at the marketing journey, we can see the pages they visited. We can see they've received emails. And I can even take advantage of sending my own email template. Now we can not only leverage the information marketing has given us, but actually leverage the work marketing has done by sending people messaging that's on time, on message, and on brand. All of this cycles back to the scoring summary of how did we find out about this person by opening an email and by them filling out a form. Now I have information contextually relevant to this person so I know how to begin the conversation with them. Now all I have to do is look at the phone number and dial. I can figure out if the system has already scheduled a phone call for me to have that introductory call and what step is next. And if emails have been sent and or received, we can see them in the system. Again, all of this happens before I even touch the system and take my first action with a phone call. That helps me understand a little bit about how no-touch software applies to marketing and sales within Sugar CRM. Thanks a lot.